what is your most memorable volcano related experience? That would definitely have to be the Argong eruption um, in late 2017. So I'd finished my PhD and 100% of my time was dedicated to finding a job because um, being a foreigner, I had to have a job within a certain amount of time to be able to stay in the United States. And mm -hmm. I couldn't afford to move home. I'd been a student for five years. Um, I had my two cats that I was not gonna leave behind. So there was a real pressure on you know finding a job and anyone who is in a small field knows there aren't many jobs ever so <laughs> that was what my focus was and a friend of mine that I went to school with was in Bali and said um what the heck is going on people are telling me the whole oh, island is going to erupt essentially and so I looked into it and I'd noticed the alert level had been raised for Agung I'd been to Bali a few years before just as a tourist so I had a little idea of the um the tourism situation there which a lot of people depend on for income and I realized that looking at headlines, there was no good information out there, nothing. Like what I was reading in the official reports, which I was then translating and in my mind retranslating into something that made sense, there was nothing. Um, there was no similarities between them. So I was like, okay, why, why isn't anyone doing anything? Because I mean, the Indonesians were so busy. This was a, a huge event with a big population. They didn't have the resources to put this into English. And I'm looking around, you know, just finishing my PhD, um, not really being anyone. Um, I'm not saying if you just finish your PhD, you're no one. That's just how I felt personally. <laughs> um, and I was like, why isn't anyone doing anything? And I only had, I don't know, seven, no, a few thousand followers at that time on Twitter. But I just started putting out the information in English. And I had no idea how that was going to change my whole life. I ended up dedicating, um, I stopped searching for a job. I was terrified I was putting my entire career at risk because volcanologists at that point, you know, the information has to come from the observatory and not much else. We yeah. know better now. We know that if more of us talk um, and amplify that information, that's actually really important. But it was really scary and it ended up being three months of uh, working through the night. I was a 12 hour time difference away. I was in Pittsburgh at the time, just putting out information um, and listening to what people weren't understanding and working with a team in the background and getting what sleep I could through the day. So that's what really showed me the power of communication in my own life and what you can do. Um, you know, the messages from people who were afraid and who I could help understand what the official information was really changed my life and nothing's gone back to pre -Argung. that was yeah. a huge <laughs> huge event for the full conversation head over to the Vulcan Knowledge website or search Vulcan Knowledge wherever you listen to your podcasts